Okay, I'm rolling sound again. Rolling. When you were a kid, did you play tic-tac-toe? Yes. Okay, you played tic-tac-toe. Why did you quit playing tic-tac-toe? I outgrew it, I guess. Ah, there you go. Why is it that these kids sit there with that little tiny thing and play it, doing the little kung fu punches on their little tiny microscopic controls on their couch? It's because they're babies. They're little tiny boys. That's why they call it Game Boy. When you become a man, when you grow up and you wear man's pants, you play a man's game. This is a steel ball, a man versus a steel ball. You can't get much more adult and challenging than this here. And for you to compare Xbox or any of that crap with pinball, I think is insulting to me and everybody that operates pinball machines everywhere. No time for that now. Well, not to show my age or anything, but I was growing up in the late 60s and early 70s, and they used to put pinball machines out literally everywhere. They'd be in every gas station, every 7-Eleven, and we used to just get on our bicycles and go around playing pinball machines with whatever dimes we could find. And I just kind of got fascinated by the, the fact that there was a lot of skill involved. The more you played, the better you got. I like the art. I liked the skill, I liked the kinetic nature of it, and I just, I don't know, I got, I got hooked on it. Okay, if I had to pick the five things you have to know if you want to enjoy playing pinball, first of all, you have to let your brain unlock and let your fingers do the thinking, and this takes playing for about five or ten minutes before you begin to feel the flippers instead of looking at the flippers and telling your fingers to move. It's more of an instinct thing. So if you play a little bit, you'll get into the groove and that's very good. You also have to realize that shaking the machine is part of the game. Not hitting on it, but shaking it back and forth, you can actually move the table underneath the ball. If you see it going right down the center, you can move the table a little bit and the ball will, instead of going down the middle, it'll hit a flipper and you're back in business. Um, you also have to understand that the bumpers are part of the game. You can get a lot more points by giving it a little nudge while it's in the bumpers and having it bounce around more instead of just watching it bounce around and then come back down. And it's like everything else, practice, practice, practice. So you need to play more pinball and less video games. So those are the five things you have to know about pinball to get good at it. Is that five? I think it was four. Yeah, I think it was four. Uh, don't pick your nose and eat it. That's the other thing. Wash your hands after you play pinball. Yes, winners wash their wieners. So remember that. Oh. <laughs>